Hello and welcome everyone. This is a requested tutorial on um, using the matinee tool to create a cinematic for your project. So to get the matinee tool, we need to go to cinematics and open the um, the add matinee legacy. Now you'll notice there's a few here. Now uh, matinee is actually the old tool that um, was available with Unreal Engine. And the new one I believe is the um, sequencer, but um, I still use matinee. I haven't tried out um, anything else. So let's get started with this. So we'll uh, click on that to open this and it'll take us down to this window. Now, um, this window, so I'll stick to uh, what you really need to get started with ma making your own um, cinematics. I won't explain every, um, every single thing. So first thing that we need is I'm just going to leave this camera. Right, I'm just going to leave it, doesn't matter. So first thing you want to do is you want to get to the place where you want your, um, your scene to start from. So for me, that my scene will start from um, this location down here, let's say. So once you are in the location, you want to go right click here and click on, so right click and add new camera group. And this we can call start camera. Now this green line will uh, we'll move this up. So we'll move this um, across to the end. The total time of my cinematic will be about 25 seconds or 20 seconds and I'll move this uh, this green line up as well and then we'll select this and if we have a look so our camera has been spawned in the um, location down here and you can see that down here so now I'll take this black bar up to just below five seconds and I'll press enter here and now we can actually, what we can do is we can move our camera and then this will um, determine what happens between 0 seconds and 5 seconds. So between these seconds what I want to do is move, have, have my camera move all the way around to here. And now if I actually go ahead and ask click stop and click play, you can see that this cinematic takes place. But as you can see, um, it's a little bit too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete this and take this up to maybe about, um, let's say, 8 seconds. And then just uh, move this around. So just about here, I'm not going to take it too further ahead. Now if you click play, it's a little bit more smooth and slow. So right now once we've done this, now um, I want to have multiple cameras in the scene. So for my, actually I'm just going to move this just a little bit forward because I think it's a bit too slow. Just select this. So I'm going to have uh, multiple cameras in the scene. So now I'll find the next location for my camera, which will be just down here um, above the water. So just here. As you can see, I've already been playing around. In fact, I did um, record two times, but both times um, Unreal Engine crashed, so I had to re-record -re this. So down here, what I'll do is um, just above the eight-second mark, I'll right-click here again and add new camera group, and this will I'll call a water camera. And I'm just going to delete this track, and I'm going to move up the black bar just above eight seconds and press Enter. And then about at about 15 seconds, I'll press, um, I'll do about 12 to 13 seconds. And I'll press enter down here. And now we can basically move our camera forwards. And then between these seconds, this cinematic will play. Kind of close to what I think that would look quite cool. And then what we can do is um, we can go ahead and find our last location. For me, um, that would be just here. So this is the location I want my cinematic to end at. So I'll start from about here. So back in here, um, right click, add new camera group, and I'll call this last camera. And I'll delete the first track again, and I'll move this up just above the last one, and press enter. And then at 20 seconds, press enter again. And now I'm going to actually move my camera forwards. And as it goes forwards, I want to also kind of tilt upwards. So it gives a nice scene, um, it, um, and then so it would kind of go like this, if that makes sense, so kind of like this. 
Right, so now that we, uh, we have done this, now there is uh, one more extremely important thing to this, which is a director group, which will control all our cameras and enable them, um, so we can assign which camera plays at which um, position in the um, in, a, in a specific time frames for us, which is 20 seconds long. So we'll right click here and uh, add new um, director group. We'll click on the um, director group and we'll actually move to the beginning, this black bar. We press enter and we'll choose the camera that we want to cut to at zero seconds. So for this we'll do the start camera, press OK. And then just where our next cinematic starts, which is about here, we'll press enter again and we'll choose our water camera, press OK. And then at just about 12 seconds, we we'll press enter again and choose our last camera and then press OK. So now if I click stop and if I was to click play down here, you can see the full cinematic will play. And you can also see the, uh, the camera moving um, real time inside your scene as well. So now that we have this, so um, once we have done this, we need to go ahead and uh, you need to um, decide how you want this um, cinematic to play. Now it could be that this plays in the beginning of your game, which um, in that case you could just go to blueprints, open level blueprint. Uh, you need to find your matinee actor. You can have more than one uh, matinee actor and, and you can name them properly, but mine is just called matinee actor 1. Select this in your world outliner, right click and create a reference to this in the level blueprint and then just type play and we can connect this to our event begin play or perhaps you could have a so uh, when, a, when a person enters the building and there's a big puzzle going on or something then then you could have have some trigger to show the, the character his um, surroundings that he has to go through to get to the next um, objective or something so in, in that case you could actually go ahead to your modes and um, set up a so go to volumes and use a trigger volume so this one and then when, when the player hits the um, trigger volume, you can have this played. Now, um, normally after the cinematic has finished, whatever uh, have whatever player mode you have, so if it's, if it's a third person player mode character, it will go over to that and you will be able to play again. So now once we have done this, now if I was to click the, I'm just going to save quickly. Right, that's, that's another issue. You can't do a lot of things with the matinee actor open, so it has to be closed. So I'm just going to close this quickly and now if we click, if I just save this quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and click play. And I'm also going to press F11 to get a full screen view. You can see we have a nice looking matinee sequence. Right, so now we've done that. So now, um, as you can see, now it's, um, it's casted to the, uh, the um, vehicle. So, also one more thing that you can do is, so if you want, so let's say if you go back to our matinee actor, open matinee. Oh, sorry, let me just open matinee. And then, so let's see down here. So let's say if at the end of your scene, you want there to be a period of time and nothing is actually happening. So you can actually extend this uh, this green bar and the red bar and then there will be a period of time when the camera will stay still before it fades out. So then now, now, now comes the thing about um, um, recording this. So there, there is one way to record it inside Unreal Engine which will give you a um, really nice uh, um, FPS. It might take longer but um, the FPS will definitely be uh, nice. Now I use the um, o, um, OBS um, to record my, my screen. And um, so you can either use an, an um, external software uh, while this is playing, but I, I think it's probably best if you actually go to the matinee tool, use this uh, drop down, and use the movie. So create movie. You can choose the uh, the resolution, the frame rates, and you can choose the location that you want it to be um, output to. And so this is basically um, all I wanted to show you guys today. There's obviously um, the matinee tool isn't only used for uh, movement, which is in this case just moving a camera, which gives us a nice looking sequence. It can be used for a lot of things like, you know, um, lifts or um, getting things to move around in, um, in your scene, changing colors, 
um, tracks. So it's very similar to a um, timeline um, in many senses. So I hope you guys uh, found this somewhat useful. And um, this was a basic guide on uh, based on the um, request that I received on um, how I made um, cinematics using the Metany. I do use this tool in all my um, in almost all my um, introductions for my tutorials. So I hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.